via the e-news, latest news and developments, price prediction, and technical analysis at the end of the video. This is today's Money Bag Alert. Welcome back. Money Bags Rico here, bringing you financial awareness to a crypto space that is changing on the hour, every hour. With that being said, out the way, I want to congratulate the VNU community because you guys got listed on Gate.io. You guys beat some of the biggest community. I'm going to call the same community to go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some bullish comments down below. Make the YouTube algorithm push these videos out and let people know what VNU is all about. And in case they don't know, we're going to do a quick recap before we get to these price predictions, not only on the ETH side, but also on the BNB side as well. We got the world's first light speed dog coin with zero fees and smart contracts. The first meme coin in the metaverse, the first crypto designer clothing brand, and the most energy efficient crypto out there. Join the fast growing community right now. So I'm in this community right now. It's over 20 or over 12,000 and over 1,000 people are active right now. I just seen over 20 BNB got bought up. So that's why I said 20. There are some big buys coming up. We're going to go to this. And do some technical analysis at the end of the video. Obviously, being listed on Gate.io is going to have some kind of price impact. They have an epic Venu verse, and we're going to go ahead and see what it's all about. We got Venu verse in VR chat. Currently, our team is working on a fully scale world and fully scale world inside of VR chat to the point of fully customized skins, mini games, payment integrations for task completions. I like this and custom NFTs. Stay updated on our Twitter to get the latest updates related. To this and much more i'll have all our official links down below but you guys can also have that bell notification lit because there's going to be a lot more vnu uh videos on this channel you guys are not going to want to miss out especially with something like this payment integration for task completion this seems and sounds like i'm pretty sure it's an incentive for the community to be able to do things inside of this vnu verse and also get some money out of it so that's epic right there who wouldn't want to see that Right off the top, we got um, some of their partners, and of course, we see Certic. Um, they do have a Certic KYC certification, so this is pretty epic. Shout out to the team. We got Elamont, Milte, Bobster, and Shuttlecock, right? We got the initial token split, so we're looking at this right here. We got Dow Reserves, 25%. The team was 25%. Monthly burns is 10%. Marketing, 7.5%. The development, 7.5%. Staking rewards, 10%. Airdrops were 2.5%. Venu SBP rewards 2.5 and the pre-sale was 10%. Looking at the roadmap, it's stacked, right? We can see that it's stacked and not with easy things either, um, either to take off the list. They are taking some serious things off the list. And the only thing I would ask is that maybe add some check marks because you guys got some things that a lot of, you know, projects would like to get taken care of and they have it. Of course, we see that we're over here on quarter 20, um, 22 on the second quarter. We got the Certic audit that was done or whatnot. And now we're going to be looking for the um, starting the third quarter, the multi-chain bridge to new chain, Venu swap, right? In the beta stage, staking program, um, the Venu swap, the metaverse NFT avatar collection, marketing global digital campaign. And then to, right here we got for the fourth quarter multi-chain bridge, DAO governance, Venu swap, staking program, metaverse so basically updating everything else and doubling down on everything we got some pretty epic things something that i like that i thought was really smart was this meme pack if you're part of this community you're also going to want to follow me on twitter at rico Moneybags. and this meme pack i want you guys to come to this website right come to this meme pack and light up that twitter and literally let's set um and get be new trending on twitter because they have already a whole meme pack and a bunch of different um gifs that you can use right here as a community and go ahead and turn up on twitter and get you guys trending right now checking out the eve side right off the top let's go ahead and get our arrows out that i like to use get it right here um, and let's make this chart a little bit bigger and see what we got going on right now we got our zero threshold that we can see that we found right here obviously right we're bounced off this line now we got some great news that we got to keep in mind going back over to the arrows we can see that we found this first level of support right here why it's important that we found that support before we broke out. Obviously, we got big news on our side, but we can see that it had a problem breaking out of there before, right? We can see all this level of resistance that it did because history repeats itself. What goes up must come down. What goes down must go up. What is just leaving just showed up, and what just showed up is now leaving. It just continues to happen. And even with these support and resistance, this was priorly, uh, this, um, prior, this was uh, resistance but now we can see that it found itself after we broke out that last time that we we're breaking through here right through this area boom it turned into support and now we find ourselves making it another support again meaning that of course not financial advice but we do have some catalysts with getting listed on gate.io um over 12,000 people in a telegram over 
1,000 online, some big buys coming in. I've seen 20 BNB just get bought up, and possibly even some more um, buys are going to be coming through as well. But we see that we found this um, support basically three times right here because we see this wick down. So this could be indicating that this is our new zero threshold, and we're going to be marching up from here. With the type of news that we have, we can see this to be true. Um, we were marching in this channel before right here. We didn't really touch this support too much. Um, obviously, this token is going to move with a little bit of hype behind it with some things going on. But basically, this was our old zero threshold. This was a prior resistance. Now, this is our support at that 1925. And then we're going to attack the all-time highs on the ETH side right here. And I do believe that this one is on its way to basically um, erase a zero. There's a smaller channel in between that we can be counting right here that we're trying to break out of, which is where this candle is bouncing on right now. This is on the one hour chart that we're marching across. So this is pretty epic. If you go ahead and layer it, obviously on the four hour, it's going to look even better. It's looking perfect. You know, we got that perfect high or low, the support found right here. We broke above this prior resistance, making one high or low, marching right up, okay? On the daily chart, it's going to look even better. You know, we're looking really good. It's just looking basically perfect but when you layer this chart you can find exactly where you want to get in and we found that that support level is at 1925 um, where it clearly made a higher low right we broke past that support making that making some supports and now we got a green candle having our candle set on the hike in ashi that definitely helps so now let's go over to the bnb side and see what we got going on right now because the bnb side is basically on its way to attack this all-time high we basically have some of the same things playing out right now so let's go ahead and get our arrows out. We have that zero threshold down here that we found, right? It's even an old support. Like I said, it's it's always going to show us what's going on. This is how the, the chart communicates with you. This is what's going on. Even when it pulls back, you know, don't get bummed out because this is the chart letting you know what's going on. So let's go ahead and identify this support right here, right? Because we lost this. This is why it became a resistance at one point. Where did it become a resistance? We can see it right here. Oop. This was a support at one point. We tried to hold on to it. We lost that support. We found our new support. It became a resistance. And now we're making that resistance. Now a support. And we can see that the minute we layer the chart. Break it down from the daily chart down to the four hour chart. And we can see that play out right now. Right? That's We can all identify that now it's making a higher low. It broke past the resistance. Let's go ahead and get these arrows. We can see that same resistance right here. This is how the chart communicates. So this higher low right here is a, uh, a little design that I always use as paintbrush, which we, we will use in a second to help us identify that we're going back into a bullish trend because the same thing is basically going to happen. Go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. The same thing is basically going to happen once we get past this 3682. So on the BNB side, we have 1339. Um, we have this pullback, natural pullback, how it's supposed to look. We're going to have the march towards these all-time highs, right? Break past these all-time highs. When we break past these all-time highs, the same design, this up and down, will happen up here, finding a support right here. But that's how the chart communicates with you. To then go attack this all-time high up here at the price of... 7807 and this is on the bnb side there are some big buys coming in i can see this one definitely taking off especially with it being listed on um gate.io right now so we'll be looking at this why is this 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 area that we'll be paying attention to well just look in the past let's let's go back right let's go back we can see it right here we can see it right here where it tapped out tapped out right there right also tapped out right here and one more time right there so now we're going to have that march this way and get past this 3682 making a higher low just like it's doing right now boom and we'll see that minute we'll layer the chart we can see what's going on now look at this chart how it's looking very very bullish right we got the sar with the dot on the bottom we got the macd crossing over and we're, we got some volume stepping in. Like I said, that some of that FOMO is going to kick in and some well-deserved FOMO getting listed on gate.io. So go ahead and smash that like button as you guys go ahead and chase this all-time high down. And smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and continue to come back and experience the abundance of money with me. Until next time, you guys know what it is. Later.